welcome back to another one man stream q a today's episode is episode 75 and what we're going to do is we're going to revisit the soccer substitution graphic and what we're going to do is we're going to populate that substitution graphic with excel data and as i said this is a another one man stream q a and it is a member question and that question comes from 81 summer 98 and it says hey tim i have a problem i use utc mainly for soccer streams and I want to know if there's a way to use an Excel sheet through the database for my substitution titles. Um, and then he goes on to say the, how it's a huge time saver and he already uses Excel spreadsheets for his roster, roster and it works very well. So that's what we're going to tackle today. I'm going to show you how to uh, set that up in, in an Excel spreadsheet. And we're actually going to use an old friend of ours, uh, VLOOKUP. Uh, to get this information out of the data sheet for us. We've introduced uh, VLOOKUP a few times and it's a very handy tool uh, with an Excel spreadsheet and we're going to use that again today. So what we're going to do today is we're going to utilize this spreadsheet that you see right here and this is just a, a dummy demo roster that I've set up. Over here on the right hand side you can see all the uh, individual columns, uh, first name, last name, player name, number, position, image, and then college. So on the right hand side is all the roster information. On the left hand side here is the player in, player in number, player out, player out number, and then the time that the substitution takes place. And these here our drop down menus, the player in and player out is a drop down menu, and I'm going to show you how you do that. The player in number and player out number, that is actually utilizing VLOOKUP. So when we bring in this player from the drop down menu, it's automatically, automatically going to bring in as a corresponding number. What we're going to do is we're going to map these uh, five spaces one, two, three, four, five, these five data areas. We're going to map that in the graphic uh, using data sources. And we'll also have to bring this data source into vMix and I'll show you how to do that as well. If you have a minute, I would appreciate it if you'd uh, go over to onemanstream.com. That's where I have the tutorials that I've uh, put together in this series along with the graphics that we've made and some of the vMix UTC controllers. I have them all there. They're just a few dollars a piece, but it is a, it is a way that you can help support one man how stream. We did that. The first thing that we need to do is we needed to create these drop down menus. As you can see right here, when we click these blocks, we see the drop down menu, and these are all the players that we have over here on the right side uh, of our spreadsheet in the roster information. And I'll click on this block right here this one right here and when I do you can see the VLOOKUP function pops in. This is how we have it set up and I'm going to show you how we do that. And then over here again I'll click on this. You can see the drop down menu for the out player. The, I'm sorry this was in player and this is out player. And then you'll notice as we uh, change this the number also changes as well and that's because if I click in this box here you can see we have this VLOOKUP function going on in the background. So how did we get these drop down menus? Well that's actually pretty easy. We're going to click in this block right here, any open block. Then we're going to go to data and then we're going to go to validate data and here under allow what we're going to do is we're going to click on this drop down uh, arrow here and we're going to click on list. So then we have this box here that says source and then it says insert value. So we're going to click inside here. Well, let's move this over a little bit. We're going to click inside here and we're going to start here and you can see where it brings that in. And then I'm going to hold the shift key and we're going to go here and you can see where it brings in that range. It has this right here separated by the colon and that what that is what designates our range and we're going to click apply and now we'll come over here and you can see that we create us a drop down list we'll do the same thing for player out so once again we'll click on this since we've already clicked on the data tab we'll go to data validation under allow let's go list and then we're going to click in here for our range once again we'll move this over We'll click on the first name in the list. We'll hold our shift key, click on the last name, and you can see again where that creates our range. We'll click OK and apply, and then you can see where we have this, these drop-down lists. 
Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to tackle this using VLOOKUP. So let's just kind of refresh ourselves with VLOOKUP. With VLOOKUP, each time we use this function, there's four things that we need to do. The first thing is start the process by putting an equal sign in the cell where you want the result returned. So for our example, what we're going to do is we are going to put an equal sign right here because we're going to duplicate this player in number. So we're going to start out putting an equal sign right here. The next thing is select where you want the input search term. Well, the input search term we want under player in number. The next uh, thing is select your data range that we're looking in. Our data range is going to be from right here all the way to right here. All this information in here is going to be our data range. The next thing is select which column, uh, in what column will you find the result. So we're working with player number. So this is where we're going to find our result. And if you remember from a previous tutorial, from the previous tutorial that we did, in the first column in the data range is column one. So this is going to be column one. This is column two. This is column three. And this would be column four. So in our example, this is going to be column two. So column two is where we're going to look for our number. And then the last thing is true or false for an exact match. And we do not have to have an exact match. So I will be putting in false. So let's go ahead and set this up for player in. So we're going to click in here and click the equal sign because this is where we want the result returned. So let's just start typing VLOOKUP. And you can see where it brings in the function right here. And then over here or down here, you can see where it brings in the different thing. The very first item we're going to put in this function is our search term. Well, our search term is going to be the, the name that we pull out of our drop down menu. So let's click on this and you can see where it brings in A15, which is indeed column A, row 15. That is indeed uh, where William Brown resides right now. So we're going to then put in a comma. The next thing is our data range. So our data range is going to start right here at John Smith. We're going to hold down our shift key and we're going to go to this last item here, this last image item here, which is column L20. And then we're going to put in a comma and that's going to be our data range. All right, well out of our data range, what column are we looking for the specific information? Well, it's going to be the number column. And as I said just a moment ago, this is column one, this is column two. So our number column is going to be column two. So let's go ahead and put a two in there and then a comma. And then the last thing is whether we need an exact match or not. And we don't. So let's go ahead and put false in here, close our parentheses and click enter. And as you can see, William Brown, it brought in the number 15. So let's go over here for William Brown and indeed he's number 15. Let's go ahead and change this to Donnie Black. Donnie Black changes to number 22. Let's go over here to Donnie Black and it does show number 22 for Donnie Black. So let's go ahead and do the same thing for player out number. So we're going to click on here. We're going to click the equal sign. We're going to start typing VLOOKUP. We're going to select VLOOKUP. It's going to again bring in the different values we need for this search. The first one is going to be what are we looking for? And we're going to be looking for the number associated with the player out. So we're going to click on this box right here and that gives us C15. Let's click comma. The next thing is going to be our data range. So again, we're going to click on John Smith hold down the shift key, click on the last image in that data range. That brings us I2 to L20. Let's go ahead and put a comma in there. The next thing is in what row are we wanting that information to come from? Well, remember this is row one, number is row two. So we're going to put in the number two and then a comma. And since we don't need an exact match, we're going to type in false, close those parentheses, hit Enter. Ah, see what we did. I misspelled false. Click in here. Let's go up here and edit it and see if I can make false spelled correctly. F-A-L-S-E. Enter. 
There we go, and now the magic happens. So again, under William Brown, number 15 comes in. Let's go back to our roster. William Brown is number 15. Let's go ahead and choose uh, Jordan Al from the drop-down menu. Number 99, let's see if that's correct, and that is correct. So we do have this part of it set up as it should be. So we know that part's functioning. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and bring in the soccer substitution graphic that we were talking about. And that's this one right here. And if you're wondering, that is available uh, at the One Man Stream Shop. If it's something that you would think you would like to add to your production. And uh, as you can see, we have the player in and the player out. Um, these, this piece of information right here, I will actually uh, put this in in the uh, vMix title er editor, as well as this substitution text, because this will be static for the home soccer graphic. I would actually have two of these that I would be using on game day. I would have one set up for the home team and one set up for the visiting, visiting team. I would have the home logo here set up for the home team. And then for the visiting team, I would have the visiting logo set up here. You could actually do all this uh, through the Excel spreadsheet if you wanted to. It would just take a few tweaks to that uh, spreadsheet that, we've cr that we have created. So I'm going to have to bring in a different view for you so you can see this. So let's go to this right here. And I'm going to have to go ahead and get rid of that graphic. Let me show you how we bring this in as a data source. So let's click on the hamburger menu right here. We're going to go to data source manager. And you can see the data source that I've brought in uh, that, from that spreadsheet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete this so we can start from scratch. And this is what it would look like when you first open it. So we're going to click on plus. We're going to click on Excel. Uh, backslash CSV and that's comma separated value and then we're going to go browse and this is what we want to use right here this data source example click open and I'm going to check this box right here as I always do that says use first row as column names and click OK and there's the data that it brings in this is all the information from that spreadsheet now, anytime you have a data source that's active, this hamburger menu is going to be red, and that's just giving you a heads up that indeed uh, you have a data source that's active. So now we can go to the title editor for our soccer substitution graphic, and now we can map it with the data source. So the first thing we need to, to map is the out player, or let's do in player name. So that's this right here. So we're going to go to data source. And we're going to click on Excel CSV. This would actually bring in any data source that you have associated with this production. And all we have is the Excel spreadsheet. Our Excel spreadsheet page, the name of that page is roster. And this is where the when we check that box that said use first row as column names, we're going to look for in player. And so we'll go ahead and select that. And you can see as soon as we select that, that information is automatically populated for us. The next thing we're going to do is player in number. So let's go back to data source. We're going to click on our Excel spreadsheet. We're going to go under a column and we're going to select player in number. That's what the PIN number stands for, player in number, and click OK. Then we're going to go to out player name. player out click OK then we're gonna go to ah, shoot that was player out number I'm sorry go back to that change this to P out number and click OK now we're gonna go to player out name and then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to time and click OK so now we have it all set up. Uh, we have it mapped to the data source in vMix. So now we can go back to this look right here. And you can see right here where it says player in Thomas Green. Here's the number for Thomas Green. Here's player out Tim Cardinal. There's the number for Tim Cardinal. And then under time, you can see where it says 60 minutes. Well, let's go over here and I'm going to change it to 70. 70 minutes. And then we're going to click Save. And you can see where this changed to 70 minutes. Let's uh, bring the graphic down just a little bit, and then I'll show you the whole thing. 
Okay, so let's go over here to our drop-down menu. We're going to click on Thomas Green. We're going to go to Bill Blue Jay. Then when we click out of it, you can see where it brings in number one. To our drop-down menu, we're going to go to Harry Dove. Click out of it, and you can see where it goes to 27. So let's go look over here for Harry Dove, and Harry Dove is 27. And Billy Blue Jay is number one. Billy Blue Jay is number one. And let's go ahead and save. And as soon as we hit the save button, you can see where that information comes in. Now, let's go back to this for just a second. Let's click the title editor and go to the images. Now, on this image right here, I actually brought that in through the browse function. I just found the image that I wanted, which was right here, and I clicked open. But it's, it's easy to change. If you hit browse, there we go. And it doesn't really fit very well, but you can see where it changed to this uh, new image right here. So to change it back, we'll hit title, right click and select title editor, go to images, click on browse. Let's go back to our downloads. Select this one and click open. And then it's back to what it was before. That will conclude our tutorial today where we discuss, where we discuss the soccer substitution graphic uh, that we made back in episode 35. And then we showed you how to populate uh, that graphic with an Excel spreadsheet uh, that we brought into vMix. We also talked a little bit about vLOOKUP and how to map that graphic with data sources via title editor. Once again, if you get a moment, please stop by our website, www.onemanstream.com, where we have most of the previous graphics that we've created uh, in this tutorial series, along with many of the vMix UTC controllers. As always, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you do subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. Thank you so much.